His wife, who, while fighting cancer, saved unwanted and abandoned animals on their farm. Joining me about the orphan farm is her husband and author, Greg Dukert. And I can't imagine, first of all, Greg, thank you so much for writing this book. And it's, it's just so amazing. You loved her so much. You wrote a book about your life together. And it touches on so many things. Yeah, it does. I mean, uh, Dina did so much work, um, so much good work with animals and saved so many animals. I think uh, in the time that she was involved in this, she saved somewhere in the neighborhood of 130 animals. How did it all start? It started uh, literally when Dina and I first started dating. She was going to UW uh, at that time, getting her degree. And uh, she said one day, why don't we just go to the Dane County Humane Society uh, and we'll just look around. And I go, Okay, uh, being naive <laughs> as I am. Yes, yes, indeed. My husband can tell you all about that. Oh, yeah. So we walked into the Dane County Humane Society, and there was this little Maine Coon kitty, little yeah. big orange kitty called Booch. And that was it. We started with Butch. Now, let's talk about the book. It's mm -hmm. in several parts, several sections. You talk about adopting your children. One is about to graduate from high school from Russia. Right. Yeah, I met a woman on a plane coming back from Singapore, totally by accident. She was sitting next to me, and normally I don't talk to people on planes because I do seminars for a living, so I, I mm -hmm. me, keep myself. But I talked to her. Um, she knew a woman from Russia, and at the end of the day, um, she gave me her number. Dina called her, and this woman arranged for these children to come over on a trip. We met them, and we adopted them, and we went into Russia, <laughs> went through a number of hoops, uh, and so and this details that that journey. Yes. And then an unexpected journey, which is amazing. Uh, if you have a loved one mm -hmm. right now going through their battle with cancer, then you know there's there's that she had terminal cancer. She had highly aggressive cervical cancer, terminal cancer, and uh, Dini uh, decided to not take conventional cancer care. Mm -hmm. The reason was for quality of life. Uh, with myself and the children mm -hmm. and so she essentially lived about 18 months after she got the first diagnosis but she um, was very brave throughout the entire routine I took care of her the last 10 days of our life in our home and um, she died today after Christmas of 2013 and you continue to take in stray abandoned abused animals at your farm how many do you have today we have approximately 69 to 70 of them. We have about 63 cats, three geese, three dogs. Unbelievable. And truly, this book is about your life. But when I went through it, it is several books really in one. It's about battling cancer together as a couple, as a family. Right. It's about the process of adopting yep. children and also about this amazing rescue farm. Anything else that I've not touched on that you want to make sure people know about when they want to go buy this book, The Orphan Farm? Well, it also explains some things about life that you don't think about every day. Like one point I make in there is people think, well, I have all the time in the world that if I don't do something today, I'll just do it tomorrow. And what I learned by going through this experience with Dina is that's not true. Um, you don't know what the future holds. Therefore, you have to make appropriate plans and do a do the things you want to do when the time is right. I think that is a beautiful and important, very important, it resonates with me, uh, statement to make. Uh, Greg Dukert, thank you so much. It's a beautiful book. I started reading it, The Orphan Farm, and you can find it on Amazon. BarnesandNoble.com. We also have a website called theorphanfarm.org. It's available on there, but also you can see pictures of Dina, the children, everybody on there. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you, Christine. I think you did a very wonderful thing for her. Appreciate it.